وقعت وزارة النفط والغاز مع شركة بي بي البريطانية وشركة النفط العمانية للاستكشاف والإنتاج In February 2016, an agreement was signed between BP, Oman Oil Company for Explorations and Productions, and the government of the Sultanate of Oman to develop phase two of the Hazam project by adding an additional 1,000 square kilometers to the south and the west of Block 61 that is operated by BP with a 60% interest and Oman Oil Explorations and Productions holding the other 40%. ولا ننسى أن هناك عمالة إجمالية لدى المقاولين في الموقع تقترب من حاجز ال11 ألف عامل لديهم لدينا نسبة نسبة جيدة منها من العمانيين. This amended exploration and production sharing agreement will allow a second phase of development, accessing additional resources in the area that have been identified by drilling activity within the original block. Development of this additional resource is subject to final approval of the government of the Sultanate of Oman and of BP. This is expected in 2017. Once Phase 1 and 2 are commissioned, Hazan will provide an additional 40% of natural gas to Oman. Getting more for less is the watchword of the oil and gas industry globally today. So we have been very quickly working on efficient ways, drilling the wells with less expensive technology. Uh, it's good technology. We, we're finding and appraising the, the resources that are there. But if you think about it, a project that's expanded now maybe by as much as 50%, we're going to try to do 50% more for the same amount of money that we originally had, had set for the project, which would be good for the government, good for our partners, and uh, good for everyone involved. This project should help Oman become a gas hub in the region. It's got the potential to do that, which I think is uh, very exciting for Oman. I'm glad to see that the field is turning into a town, a big town, I would say, with around 10,000 people uh, located there with all the infrastructure and services being uh, provided. I'm glad to see the construction work of the gas plant uh, coming up quite well. The $16 billion project brings significant investment in people through the creation of jobs, knowledge transfer and developing Omani capability. The project has reached 60% completion by early 2016. Currently, 11,000 people are involved in the construction of the Hazam project, getting the facilities towards completion. Work on the 400-kilometer-long pipeline distribution system continues at pace. 40% of the pipeline has already been buried and pre-commissioning work continues. Construction of the water treatment plant is complete. Work on the two-train central processing facility is also underway. This will deliver 1 billion cubic feet of gas and 25,000 barrels of condensate per day from late 2017. 2016, in terms of in operations, where we, the team are going to start focusing on, we'll get early operations um, equipment to hand it over to actually put a very detailed plan in to actually start commissioning the plants and actually have that plan in place so we can actually introduce first gas safely and securely. When Hazan is commissioned, a sizable team of technicians will be required to operate the gas plant. In order to provide Hazan with the highest quality of personnel, BP Oman established a technician's training program in 2012 to train and develop Omani technicians of the future. To date, 87 young Omanis have been recruited and trained. We've had around nine batches in, in total. Uh, that's a mixture of instrument, electrical, mechanical and, and production. We've actually uh, set up some partnerships with uh, Oman LNG and Oman Oil, and that's where the bulk of our technicians are today, getting operational experience. The training centre offers a unique visual and hands-on experience. The more you practice, the more you gain skill, the more you get knowledge. It features a three-phase separator and the water treatment plant, which are the first one in the Middle East and the third one of its kind in the world. I think that the uh, oil and gas industry is uh, exciting and interesting to work in it because uh, it is something special. As part of BP's commitment to in-country value, Omani contractors are present in almost every aspect of the project. 
The Muscat-based energy services company Abraj is one of the Omani contractors to join the Wells team. We have three rigs uh, in operation and uh, I'm glad to see a good start and a good performance by, by Abraj. Majority of the uh, crew members in all the ten rigs are uh, Omanis with different levels of uh, experience. From the first day we set our expectation high uh, and and we, we make very clear message to the people here in Abraj that this is the way we like to do things here in oil field. In total, 53 wells will be drilled for phase one development. Currently, 10 rigs are operating across the entire field. Drilling time and efficiency has improved as teams gain experience with tight gas wells. We're going to be drilling a lot more wells, uh, we're going to be stimulating a lot more wells. So, you know, the job for 2016 is to, you know, is to be safe, it's to be reliable, which is not making the mistakes, and, uh, and be competitive. BP Oman is also committed itself to supporting sustainable and socio-economic development. BP Oman's social investment program has three elements focusing on education, enterprise development and energy sustainability. In the past 16 months, more than 4,000 people have benefited from the program. BP Oman's social investment program is a unique model that works towards serving and empowering local Omani capabilities in driving Oman towards a progressive future. First gas is due to be delivered from Hazan in 2017. The field is expected to have a life extending beyond 2043. BP Oman is focused on building a long-term organization with deep technical expertise to deliver this. By 2020, BP Oman expects 90% of its staff to be Omani nationals, and already 50% of Oman's leadership team is Omani. Gas from the Khazan project is quite uh, crucial for the industrial uh, development in uh, the Sultanate. We have made a commitment to the government to deliver the gas by 2017 and we're working very hard to do so. This is a long-term commitment between uh, BP and the government. This is just the start of it and we hope we can deliver more gas to the country uh, from future phases from Block 61.